The wiggle effect that you're seeing in this animation on screen here is called a line boil. This occurs when the images of a frame-by-frame -frame animation just don't align perfectly. Now whether the strokes of the illustration are just different widths or the lines just miss the mark, the result is an image that jumps and wiggles around. And this is really where the technique gets its name. In the early days of animation, this was considered a mistake and animators really tried to avoid this look. These days, it's become a more widely accepted technique because it really infuses projects with life and originality. Now there are a number of reasons why you might want to incorporate this method or technique into your next project. First and foremost, it's going to add life into what would otherwise be a static image. Now including a hand-drawn illustration is already really original, but adding movement to that is going to make it even more dynamic. Plus they don't take a long time to create. All you need are a few frames and then you can loop it and you can add that to your project. So there's really a number of ways in which you can create this effect. For this particular tutorial I'll be using an iPad with an Apple Pencil and an app called Procreate, which has a lot of cool animation tools that are friendly when you're wanting to do frame by frame animations. I'll also be bringing my animation into Adobe After Effects for some final touches. All right, let's get into it. For the first step, I'm gonna draw my first frame, which is my original image. I'm gonna turn on Animation Assist and the Drawing Guides, and I'm gonna draw my favorite animal, the fox. Now I'm gonna keep this to a simple doodle, and since it's a line boil, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun and use mostly straight lines to create this image. I wanna get this first image right, as every frame after this is just gonna be a trace of this first image. And using these guides here, I'm gonna get a nice geometric fox that's totally symmetrical. So now I'm ready to create some duplicates. In Procreate, I'll click the Add New Frame button and simply trace the original image. Okay, so I have my second frame here. Now I'm just gonna repeat this um, another two or three times. I wanna have about four or five frames. Now to check out what I've created here, I'm gonna hit the little play button on the bottom left-hand side. Next, I'll click the settings button and this will allow me to really customize the look of it here. I'll grab the frames per second slider bar and this is really where I can adjust the look of it. Maybe I want this to um, go a little bit slower so I'll bring it down to like eight or nine frames per second. That's looking pretty good. Now I could just go ahead and export this directly from Procreate as an animated GIF or an MP4, but I actually wanna bring this into Adobe After Effects and tweak it a bit more. I'm gonna go up to this little wrench icon, click on Share. I'm gonna click on PNG Files. I can bring these in Adobe After Effects as an image sequence. Now once they're imported, Adobe AE is gonna automatically set the frame rate of the image sequence based on the default settings of my current project. To change this, I'm gonna grab the clip and select interpret footage. Now I can set my frame rate manually and match it to what I had set up in Procreate. As a final step, I need to make sure this animation is looping. For this, I'm gonna enable time remapping on my clip. Now to add an expression to this parameter, I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch. Now I'm gonna to go to the expression language menu and select property, loop out. Now I'll simply extend this clip to cover my timeline and I have a nice loop. All right, so there you have it. There is my final line boil animation. This is a really fun technique. It's really simple. And you can see it was based on just one quick doodle there. And now it's very dynamic. I can loop this. This will add a lot of nice movement to my project. Very cool. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell because we've got a ton of new tutorials coming your way. And I'll see you in the next one.